with your palm facing towards you and label your little finger as zero degrees, your ring finger is 30, middle one is 45, 60 and your thumb is 90 degrees. To make this work, you just need to remember to square root the number of fingers and divide by two. So if we wanted sine 30, we'd bend down our 30 degree finger and you just have your baby finger underneath. So sine 30 is square root one divided by two because there's only one finger underneath, which simplifies to a half. If we wanted sine 90 degrees, you'd bend down your 90 degree thumb and so you have four fingers underneath. So sine 90 is square root of four divided by two, which simplifies to one. What would sine 60 be? Work out the answer and click here when you're ready to check. Did you get square root three divided by two? For cos, we just count the fingers above instead of the ones below. So for cos 60, bend down your 60 finger and count the fingers above, one. So cos 60 is square root one divided by two which simplifies to a half. What would cos 90 be? Work out the answer and click here when you're ready to check. Did you get zero degrees? Bend down your 90 degree thumb and there are no fingers above. So root zero divided by two is zero. And finally tan. For tan, we still count fingers but there is just one extra little twist. The same as for sine and cos, bend down the angle finger. So let's find tan 60. Let's bend down our 60 degree finger. and We've got one cosine finger above and three sine fingers below. For tan, we flip our hand over and we have three sine fingers above and the one cosine below. So tan is square root fingers over square root fingers. So square root three over square root one, which simplifies to root three. What would tan 30 be? Work out the answer and click here when you're ready to check. Did you get square root one divided by square root three? which would simplify to one over root three. So there we have a really easy way of remembering those exact values. We use our hand, the special angle 0, 30, 45, 60 and 90, and just remember for sine and cos, it's root fingers divided by two. Sine is root fingers below the bent finger, and cos is root finger above the bent finger. And for tan, you just flip it over and it's root fingers divided by root fingers.